Hey what's up guys. I hope you are doing good. In this tutorial video, we are going to make Loki disintegration effect. They call it spin effect or something, it doesn't really matter. So, let's take a look at what we are going to create. Good thing about this effect is, it's completely procedural, you can make your own video using this template. Download it from my telegram channel, link in the description. You can make visual effect or use it as a logo animation template, it's up to you. This effect animation is completely driven by this shape layer. Okay now let's focus on making this effect from very beginning. First, let's make a new project. First make a new comp with size of 1920 by 1080. I named it main comp because this is our final render comp. Now make a another new comp. You can give whatever name you want. This is a comp where we put our footage. So I give it a name, footage. Now drag footage comp in main comp. Go to footage comp and add your video in it. I already key out my green screen footage and make it in alpha. But for your case you have to key out or roto your object to make it in alpha or transparent. Now come back to main comp. Make a new circle shape layer. Switch on the title action safe option to make circle at center. Hold alt and shift while making circle to get perfect circle. Now add turbulence displacement effect on shape layer. Play with some settings and make edges wavy. We can change it later so it doesn't really matter right now. For now I take displace amount to 128 and size to 23 something. Now add keyframe to scale property of shape layer. Start with 0 to size something 150, which covers whole comp size. This layer is base of our animation. We can change it later. Now pre-comp this shape layer. I am giving it a name, base animation. Because this is base of our prune effect. Search for set matte effect and apply it on footage layer. Select base animation layer as a matte layer and check the invert matte option. Hide the visibility option of base animation layer so we can see our alpha. Now duplicate the base animation layer. Shortcut key for duplicate is Ctrl plus D. Now name it something like low line. Name doesn't really matters, you can give whatever name you want. And don't forget to on its visibility. Now search for find edges effect and apply it to glow line layer. Now check the invert option. Now add extract effect below find edges effect. And increase the black point to extract black portion of layer, so we can get line only. We see line is now outside of body. We don't want that, so add one more set matte effect, and take matte layer to footage layer, because we want to see line in body only. Now add Vegas effect to crank up the line. Increase segment number so it looks smooth. Change the width of line as you want. Also change color to white.
Now I had fast blur effect. It's not necessary but I want to do this, to smooth out the line. Now add rough and edges effect to give edges bit in regulatory. Decrease border option to fill space and line. Now duplicate base animation comp and trun on its visibility. Search for time difference effect and apply it on our duplicated base animation comp. I rename this layer comp as a back body map because this gonna be our map for creating our back part of body. Take time offset value to 0 0.150 and contrast to 0. Basically going to do is, delay animation of this layer so we can see our back side of body. Now create a new solid layer and name it back body because this gonna be our back part of body. Precomp the back body map layer. And add set matte effect on back body solid layer. Take footage layer as a matte layer. Now add another set matte effect below first set matte effect. In this, take black body map layer as matte layer and invert the matte. Now add one more set matte effect and take base animation layer as matte layer. Now add rough and edges effect to get rid of sharp edges. Increase the border value to 26 or something and play with setting until it looks good to you. You can go back to black body map comp and adjust the offset value, in case if you want to see more portion of back part of body. Now let's jump into making particle effect. Duplicate the glow line layer and go to duplicated layer add delete some effect like fast blur and rough and edges and leave other effect as same as before. In Vegas effect, increase the width of glow line. Now precomp this layer, I am giving it name particle. Now add CC particle system to effect on it. There is only two important setting here. Go to producer and increase the radius in X and Y axis. And cover the whole comp with particle. Increase the birth rate of particle. It increase the number of particle. Now go to particle and turn on alpha source inheritance option. It allows to generate particle on only from alpha.
Now play with other settings as per what you want from this video. You can also copy my settings but I want you to explore yourself, you may learn something better than this. Now duplicate the particle layer by selecting the layer, and press Ctrl plus D and change some settings like color and velocity, just to give bit variation. Now duplicate particle layer one more time and change color in some settings. I am making different particle layer with different settings just to look kind of more natural. Now select all the particle layer and change its blending mode to add. I am renaming this particle layer to avoid a confusion. Duplicate the one particle layer one more time, this is going to be Afterglow layer. Pre-comp this newly duplicated particle layer and name it Afterglow. Now drag this Afterglow layer below the footage layer. I am hiding particle layer to see line layer clearly. Now we are going to add glow effects in all the layer. Search for glow effect and apply it on layer. Decrease the threshold and radius. Now add one more glow effect and increase its threshold and radius. You can also add glow effect one more time. Add tin effect on glow line effect to give color to line. Do the same glow effect technique to all the particle layer also. Or you can also copy and paste this effect on other layer, but do some changes if needed. After applying glow, you may get some odd outcomes of effect. For this you can go back to particle effect and changes its settings to make it right. Now let's go back to after glow comp. Change the particle settings. Increase longevity to 8 seconds or something. We need footage comp to create our mat, so go to main comp and copy the footage layer and paste it on afterglow comp. And delete the old set mat effect on the footage layer. Hide the footage layer. Now add set mat effect on particle and take footage layer as mat layer. Now go to particle physics setting and change velocity to 3. Inherit velocity to 45. Gravity to 0 and direction to 150. You are free to play with settings but this settings works fine to me. Now add fast blur effect on it and set amount to 5 or something. Now duplicate the layer and change its color to cyan. Make sure to change blending mode of both particle layer to add. Now add glow effect to both the particle layer. Drag the glow effect to up, just below the particle effect and drag the set matte effect down below to all effect.
Now come back to main comp. Select the afterglow layer and add roughen edges effect to give bit in regularity to afterglow edges. Change its settings. Roughens down to 0 and border to 12. If you are unsatisfied with the color looks of afterglow then go back to afterglow comp and change its color. Like I did. So here we are done with all effects. Like I said before, this effect is completely procedural. So now let's make its controller and add some expression. First make a new adjustment layer and rename it controller. Trun this layer as guide layer. Now add point expression control effect. This will drive the starting point of the disintegration effect. First lock the effect panel and go to base animation comp. Then select the shape layer and press P to show position property. Now click the stopwatch by holding Alt. This now will pick add with the position property and parent it with point expression control. Now we see point is parented with shape layer position. Now add new slider control and do the same parenting method as we done before, but this time with scale properties of shape layer. I name it as, Animation, because this will drive the animation of disintegration effect. Now go to Base Animation Comp, press S for Scale Property and click the stopwatch by holding Alt. And now pick Whip and parent it with Slider Control Effect. Now we can animate our effect by this simple expression control. Now make another slider control. And do same parenting method we did before, but this time with size property of turbulence displacement effect. Now add color control effect this will parent with tint effect of glow line layer. Do same steps to parent but with color value. Now you can animate the effect by this controller. Position the point on place where prune stick touch the body. And animate by animation control, zero to value that completely disappear the body. So here we go, we have completely done this effect. Now let's see the final video. Okay that's for today. Like this video if you learned something from this tutorial, and let me know in comment how's this tutorial. And if you have any problem with making this effect you can also ask me for help. And at last, I wanna say YouTuber kind stuffs. Like this video, share and subscribe my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, it's vny.fx. Okay for now goodbye.